property tax agreement one step closer to passing tonight. Two property tax initiatives clearing the House floor today. The initiatives are already making progress in the Senate, but not without some pushback. Fox 31 political reporter Gabrielle Franklin explains from the Capitol. You know, the pre-negotiated property tax agreement passed the House floor without much opposition today. But members on both sides of the aisle let leadership know that they do not like the way this bill came to be. A vote for this or a vote against this. It's not against the people on this floor. It is a signal to understand if we are ever put in this position again, there are people who are willing to not be pushed. Democrats and Republican members of the House stood in solidarity during the vote on the agreed upon property tax bill. Members took to the well voicing frustrations about the process that got the bill onto the floor. What you have today is what we put together that we believe is the right policy at this moment for the people of Colorado because they need us and we are going to answer their call. And so regardless um, of whether you vote yes because you think this is the right policy or no because you don't like the process, I think we are all here to help the people. Others voice frustration about the impact of the bill if it becomes law. In the deal that was cut yesterday, there's information coming out that for folks in my neighborhood where our houses are worth cheaply $600,000. We're going to see a 5% increase in our property taxes, but for folks that own homes that are $5 million, they're going to see a reduction. We're going to call that property tax relief. New demographic data from the Legislative Council staff shows if the bill becomes law, folks with homes valued at $2 million and above will get larger property tax cuts than those who have homes valued around $650,000 by 2026. In the end, supporters of the agreement saying passing the bill would be better than Initiative 50 and 108 passing in November. Is it a move to play defense right now? You bet it is. And lawmakers say that they're still frustrated by the fact that supporters of this initiative have not been around the Capitol this week as the bill moved through the process. We hope to hear from supporters of those initiatives tomorrow on Fox 31. For now, reporting at the Capitol, Gabrielle Franklin, Fox 31.